is up you guys I hope you're having a wonderful day remember I told you that Jack bought me a present for my birthday and then I'm planning to meet up with him now and he's gonna do an upgrade on my computer today just a just a quick stopover at Shaq's workplace I'm here to pick Shaq up and uh, he's still not here yet uh, I'm not sure what we're gonna do but I know we gotta go to Vivo City to buy something for the laptop yeah where's Shaq where's Shaq where's Shaq he's late already all right, time to head to Vivo City now. So currently, my laptop is having a normal hard disk, right? Yeah. Traditional hard disk. Oh, ones. And then we are gonna switch it to SSD, yes. solid state. And this is supposed to be faster. Definitely. We're gonna start the laptop, and then we're gonna time it. After the surgery, we're gonna start the laptop again, and then we're gonna time it again. So let's see if it's faster or not. I'm pretty sure it's faster. <laughs> Check. what are we doing at Vivo? We're gonna take out your Mechanical hard disk. No, I'll show you later, I'll show you later. And just like that, we're back at Vivo City again. You guys seen so much Vivo City here. Yes, everything. Heading to Challenger right now. Challenger is an electronic shop. IT gadgets. Challenger! This is where I got my headphones, if you guys remember. Alright, would you want to explain to us what are we doing here? We're getting this. It's an enclosure to put the hard disk inside. So we're putting my existing hard disk on the laptop into this yes. and make it an external hard disk. With USB port connection. USB 3 though, right? Yes, USB 3. <laughs> You're smart, good idea. So that my current hard disk doesn't go to waste. Correct, and it facilitates the transfer. Good job, Shaq. Dr. Shaq of computers. Shaq, you just made me spend $25 on this casing. Member price. It better be worth it. Oh, it is. It will be. Well, I'm getting a free external hard disk for $25. Yeah. And all the hard disks are like $100 plus. Uh, so why are you complaining? Done! Woohoo! I know it's a bigger bag. I've ended up buying other stuff like travel adapters and stuff like that because I'm going traveling. Shaq, you made me spend. All right, got the bag, the laptop's in the bag, and then we are ready to go have a surgery on the bag. Uh, what the f Surgery on the bag? All right, we got the bag, laptop's in the bag, and now we are on to the operating theater. Gonna do some surgery on the laptop. Just a little recap. Shaq bought me this SSD card, and he is gonna put it into my laptop. I'll show you the process. All right, so now he has not put the new hard disk inside the laptop. I am going to test and see how long it takes to boot up this laptop. So this laptop is on. 20 seconds. Still loading. All right, we're on Windows already. And it is 30 seconds. So I'm just gonna say it's 30 seconds currently to boot up my computer. So let's see how long it takes after he has put the new hard disk inside. I think the surgery went well. What do you think, doctor? Well, it was quite smooth. Now it's just the cloning process. Check, wouldn't that make you a mad scientist, doctor? Cloning. Oh, why would he say so? Cloning. Clo You're cloning. It's mad Data scientist. Data cloning. It's like copying files from here to you there. You know I'm just being stupid, right? Ah, uh, well, alright. <laughs> So we decided to go into Shaq's house. The cloning process, the mad scientist cloning process is taking forever. It's like almost three hours and it's only like 60%. Yeah, it's taking a bit longer. Your Frankenstein is not ready, man. Your original <laughs> source is the one. Okay, what happens is the hard disk in my laptop is kind of slow. So it takes a long time for it to clone or read the hard disk. Yes. Just giving you a little update of what's going on so far. It is 4 a.m. Shaq, the mad scientist, has made, has made me a zombie now. This complete move. <laughs> it took seven hours. Seven hours. It's because of the slow hard disk, isn't it? Yes. And because I got lots of data inside. All my videos, he had to 
clone over. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's, that's a lot. That's really a lot. But I think now we finally done it. We're gonna go have something to eat in McDonald's while he boot up. So we're gonna do a test boot up and see if it's faster. Faster than 30 seconds. Do you think it's faster than 30 seconds? Leave your comments though before you watch. 15 seconds? Bro. Oh, seriously, Alvin, it, sh it should be faster. If it's not faster, it's gonna be a joke. It will, it's gonna be it, a joke birthday present for me. If it's just 25 seconds, then the 5 second increment wouldn't be worth it, right? So it has to be 15. 15, man. We are targeting half of the time. Alright, I say 10 seconds. Whoa! <laughs> That's daring. You know 10 seconds is like a lifetime, you know that, right? <laughs> Try holding your breath for 10 seconds underwater. See? <laughs> you ready? Yes, I'm ready, check. 3, 2, 1, go! 12, 13, 14, 14 seconds! 14! 14! SSD! The question on this video is, is it worth to upgrade your computer to SSD? Think saving 15 seconds is not worth it, isn't it? That's just the loading time. Next time you're gonna edit your videos faster. Yeah, probably. This is the easiest test that I can do right now in this video. I'll let you guys know how the editing process is. Is it faster? Is my work more efficient? And stuff like that. But anyways, he just installed the hard disk into my laptop. And thank you so much for the birthday present. You sweet, sweet, sweet math scientist. It's an investment. <laughs> what, investment on me? You're investing in me? Yes, and I expect good returns on subscribers. Uh, I'm so sorry you cannot come in. You're close ready. We got chased out of McDonald's because they are not open yet. It's 4 a.m. They should have breakfast. But I didn't know Bukit Mera McDonald's is not open for 24 hours. I'm like, oh, I want McDonald's breakfast. Well, let's go to another one. So we just drive past to another location, another McDonald's. This one, I'm pretty sure is 24 hour check. Yes, it is. Oh, you know what? Shed, why don't you explain to them what's the difference between a normal hard disk and this SSD? Because like we changed it, but you nobody knows, you know, not for all those techn non technical savvy people like me. Okay. Yeah, I would like the ham one. And then Shaq, they have the porridge. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever episode of Shaq's Technical Assistance. Shaq's Technical Assistance. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'll try to make this as simple to understand as possible. For ages, we have been using hard disks based on the mechanical moving parts. If you were to open up a hard disk, a traditional hard disk, what you will see is CD-ROMs, like those CD pieces inside. They were usually they have like four or five of these platters with magnetic data. Every time they spin, it's like there's a record player, the pin goes down and that's how the data gets read and written. So in order for the hard disk to give you the data, it has to spin and it has to spin a lot of times. And why just now it takes so long is because this one only has a spin rate of 5400 RPM. A normal one will be 7200. Now for the solid state, you know how thumb drive works, right? Electronic chips on it with no moving parts. You just plug and you have access to the memory cells. Right, imagine SSD is like a lot of thumb drives squeezed together to form one hard drive. And there's no moving parts. That is why it can last longer and has faster read and write access. I think that's about it. <laughs> it's Q&A time. I have some question for Shaq. So if that's the case, Thumb drives have already been invented before SSD. So why didn't this come out earlier before the thumb drive? If you recall the first thumb drive that ever came out, how huge would it be? It's like... Really 25 MB. Yeah, and the size of the physical size of the, the yeah, thumb drive? Yeah, it's a thumb drive, yeah. Now, do you see thumb drive going smaller? So small and like a nail size? Yes. And they go by? Geeks, right? Yes, bigger capacity now. Hence, the nanotechnology is here. They managed to squeeze so much of those data storage cells to form a hard drive. Like a lot of thumb drive inside this SSD? Yes. And imagine all the data cells have a nerve connecting all of them together. When you double click data, all of them works together and give you that form instantly. That's why you can see the speed. Food is here, Shaq. <laughs> Alright, let's dig it. Oh. Where's the spoon? Where's the spoon? Where's the spoon? How am I supposed to eat this? The spoon is here. My bad. Are you ready for another question, Shaq? Uh, I've heard somewhere that it is not good to defrag your SSD. 
Oh yes. Why? All the data cells are all connected with a nerve. Fragmentation does not affect them. You can have your files in the in this corner of the data cell and another part of the file at that corner. Mm -hmm. So when they access the file, both will work at the same time and give you that file. Okay. Unlike the mechanical hard disk, yes. it can appear anywhere on the platter. A, a fragment of your file can be at the, at the far end and some in the middle. Say you want to access this file, the hard disk has to spin the outside and then all the way to the inside to give you the file. That is not time efficient. You have to defract traditional hard disk so they can move all the pieces of the file, consolidate them together. together. So that's why you defract a traditional hard disk. This. Correct, and you don't defract uh, SSD because SSD the lifespan goes by the number of times you write on it. You can write one time and leave the data there intact. The SSD will last forever. You just keep reading, and it lasts forever. Don't worry. If you notice <laughs> this Western Digital 3D NAND, it have a lifespan of about 140 terabytes. Terabytes of writing. Man, I think I will die before that. <laughs> So I have a question, another question, and this is the last question. Will my laptop consume more power with this since it's running faster? What do you guys think? Here's my simplest, simplest, sim every time simplest, simplest explanation. Picture the mechanical hard disk as a whole car. Whole car consumes a lot of gas, right? And this SSD is a magic car pad. And why it runs on magic? Wait. Like, okay, if you have an old car, if you compare it with a Lamborghini, then the Lamborghini would take more gas. I say it's faster. Car, it's faster. A Lamborghini still got running parts. But you, you no. Wait, dude, you can't compare cars and magic carpet. <laughs> you, what analogy are you giving? Because it is magic. Anyways, guys, enough of the craziness. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. And uh, thank you, Shaq. No thank worries. you. Anytime. I will see you in the next one. Keep smiling and see ya.